with meteorologist Christina Rees. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. It was very similar today compared to the weekend. Plenty of sunshine, hot, humid, and windy once again for today. But checking out our Emporia camera, you can't even really see much in terms of cloud cover overhead. Sunshine dominated through much of the day today, and that's the case towards downtown as well. But still on the toasty side, temperature wise, we're sitting at 93 degrees. Dew point temperature in the low 70s, though, actually makes it feel like it's in the triple digit with a real field temperature of 102 in downtown Topeka right now. But it's just been a hot one across the board for today. Air temperature still hanging out in the 90s across northeast Kansas. It's 90 degrees on the dot for Burlington as well as in Poria, 93 in Manhattan, though, a degree warmer than that in Junction City, coming in at 94 degrees. But once again, it has not been the most comfortable heat. Because our dew point temperatures are up there. Now, keep in mind that dew point is that measurement of how much moisture is in the air. This tells you how uncomfortable it feels. Dew points in the 60s and low 70s starts to put things more so on the muggy side. So, not only do you feel that stickiness to the air, it makes it feel all that much hotter out there as well. The capital city, not the only one seeing heat index values in the triple digits right now, feeling like 100 degrees on the dot for Holton as well as Hiawatha, 101 for Manhattan and Junction City, but it's actually feeling like 102 degrees outside of Clay Center right now. The one plus side for today that has made this heat just a little bit more bearable has been the wind, albeit it's been a windy day today, but still breezy with that south wind at about 15 to 25 miles per hour right now. That wind will try to fall back a little bit for tonight, but staying on the breezy side and also staying out of the south, heading out the door tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. is where we're stopping future track here. Still looking at a 10 to 20 mile per hour breeze. Now, throughout the course of the day tomorrow, it won't be quite as windy as it was today. Still on the breezy side, but the direction will start to change. Through the morning, we all hold on to a south wind, but as we progress throughout the afternoon, that south wind starts to clash with a north wind. Still 10 to 20 mile per hour breeze regardless of the direction, but that shift in direction is due to our next cold front. Until it gets here though, we stay on the warm and humid side. And you'll see that reflected with our future track temperatures heading out the door tomorrow morning to get back to work or school. We are talking 70s, if not some pockets of low 80s. So a warm start to your day, but some areas may not break out of the 80s for tomorrow for those who get behind that cold front first. And that would be some of our northern and northwestern areas that have the best shot of getting stuck in the 80s for tomorrow. Ahead of that front, still toasty. We are talking 90s, and it will stay on the muggy side as well. Once this front really starts to sweep through during the evening hours. It's a completely different story heading out the door Wednesday morning. We are talking 50s and 60s instead of 70s and low 80s. So a much more comfortable start to the day. But as a whole, Wednesday will be much more comfortable. We're talking highs only in the upper 70s and low 80s. The other takeaway for Wednesday, it won't be nearly as humid either as we get completely behind that cold front. But it could also serve as a trigger for showers and storms. For now, though, we are dry and pretty clear across northeast Kansas. A few clouds are expected for tonight, but otherwise we stay mainly dry. Now, late in the night, more so into the morning hours of tomorrow, this model keeps things dry. We could see an isolated shower storm pop up, though. However, the better chances for some scattered showers and storms will come as we progress through the afternoon into the evening, and it's a chance of rain across the board. Best chance of potentially seeing some stronger storms, though, will be for the eastern half of the region late afternoon into the evening before the rain chances start to taper off as we get into early Wednesday. Either way, it's not the best setup for severe weather, but any stronger storms that do develop could potentially pose a threat for some damaging wind gusts and large hail. That would be the main threats we're looking at. But for tonight, we are quiet, just warm and stuffy still, and we hold on to that south wind still at 10 to 20 miles per hour, helping keep temperatures in the upper 70s. 78 is the low we're looking at in the capital city. A look at your KSNT storm track extended day forecast shows tomorrow is not the only rain chance we're looking at. Once we get beyond Wednesday, we are looking at periodic chances for some scattered showers and storms. Either way, we won't be quite as hot, bouncing between the 80s and low 90s, but you may be dodging raindrops for your Labor Day weekend.